Welcome to Yagba's Epic Tales. Once upon a time, there lived two women, Obiageli and Amarashi. Obiageli and Amarashi were married to Anayo, a wealthy merchant. Aside Obiageli and Amarashi, Anayo also had another wife, Inkiruka. Anayo had married Obiageli and in Kiruka on the same day. His intention was to marry in Kiruka, who was the love of his life. But Obiageli, who was in Kiru's friend, had maliciously drugged him and lied with him. Few weeks to Anayo's marriage with in Kiru, Obiageli had accused Anayo of impregnating her. And so, he was forced to marry her. However, the child Obiageli had bore was a still birth. Meanwhile, Anayo's love for Inkiru kept growing, despite the fact that she hasn't been able to bear children for him. This made Obiageli jealous and bitter towards her co-wife. In Kiru. Six years after their marriage, Anayo's mother became impatient with the two wives. She wanted grandchildren, and since none of the two wives of her son has been able to bear children, she brought a new wife for her son to marry. Anayo had objected and refused to accept the new woman his mother brought for him. But after much persuasion by his beloved wife in Kiru, he accepted the new wife, Amarachi. Obiageli was okay with the idea of a new wife. She had hoped that Amarachi would steal the affection of Anayo from Kiru, but she thought wrong. Instead, Anayo loved Kiru the more. Amarachi, together with her senior wife Obiageli, also began to resent Inkiru. They will always lay traps which will always make the elders of the community find fault with Inkiru, but Inkiru always gets delivered through God and through the support of her husband. Soon, Inkiru became pregnant. This made Obiageli and Amarachi more bitter. What will happen to us if she bears this child? We will completely lose our place in her husband's house, the two women said to each other. They decided to do something about it. They traveled to a far away land where they met with a juju woman. They presented in Kiru's picture, which the juju woman tied with black magic. Meanwhile, Amarachi became pregnant also. This made Obiageli secretly despise her, but she could do nothing because of the secrets they both have. For over a year, Inkiru was unable to deliver the child in her womb due to the magic of the juju woman. All efforts made by Anayo proved abortive. Soon, Amarachi delivered a baby girl. But what they did not know is that Amarachi was not really pregnant but only faked her pregnancy. She had paid a young man to kidnap and impregnate a young teenage girl and claimed the baby as her own. She had wanted a baby boy so that her son would be the heir of all the things Anayo has. But she was disappointed 
when the baby came and it was a girl. In anger, she went to the young man she had paid to carry out her evil deed. I told you to ensure that the baby is a boy in any way you can. Amarashi yelled at the young man. What is the essence of a girl? After all the efforts I and my co-wife put to tie down in Kiru's pregnancy, Amarashi said again. And in that instant, she realized that she had spoken the abominable. For the juju woman had warned them not to voice out what they had done to any human in no circumstance. Amarachi realized what she had done, but it was too late to take it back, and instantly she ran mad. Obiageli, who was also at home, became mad at the same time, and at that moment, Inkiru went into labor and delivered twin babies, a boy and a girl. Obiageli and Amarachi confessed to their evil deeds and remained mad. Moral Lessons The story shows jealousy and the bad reward it breeds. Obiageli was jealous of Inkiru, her friends. She was jealous that Inkiru, her friend, was going to be married to Anayo, the rich merchant. She lost the baby which she had conceived as a result of her malicious acts. Number 2. Amarashi also got disappointed when she received a baby girl instead of the baby boy she had wanted. At the end, they both ran mad. I hope you enjoyed this story and have learned from it. What other moral lessons did you learn from the story? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.